champion right here. I got another NCAA college football champion right here. And myself, no college football champion. But we will get a champion. You know, you know. Hello fans, it's Cam Curl here. 
It's 31 days till kickoff, so today only, no fees on tickets. So make sure you get a ticket so we see you at FedEx Field. You settled on what? How much you guys want these guys to play on Saturday yet? Yeah, we have. You know, we 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 like to see the um, first group somewhere between 15 and 20 plays, somewhere along that line, and then go from there with the, with the seconds and thirds. Well, I think the biggest thing right now with, with, with Ryan, you know, he's kind of trying to feel things out and get a feel for, for what he wants to do. Um, you know, so he, he's asked about shadowing the coaches. And, you know, it's, it's been kind of interesting because, you know, he, both both um, Sweat and, and, and Chase just gravitate to him. You know, they spend a lot of time talking. It really was kind of good to watch, you know, somebody who's got a, a tremendous amount of knowledge, vast experience like his. Uh, I think it's been good to have him around and be around our guys. Chase Ruye, will he? No, Chase won't play. Chase won't play. Curtis? Curtis will play. Okay. Is that something you guys would consider bringing on full time as just like a pass rush specialist to help with those guys? Well, I think the biggest thing right now with, with, with Ryan, you know, he, he's kind of trying to feel things out and get a feel for, for what he wants to do. Um, you know, so he, he's asked about shadowing the coaches. And, you know, it's, it's been kind of interesting because, you know, it, it, both – both uh, Sweat and, and, and Chase just gravitate to them. And, you know, they spend a lot of time talking. They really do. It's kind of good to watch, you know, somebody who's got a, a tremendous amount of knowledge, vast experience like his. Uh, I think it's been good to have him around and be around our guys. Well, um, all three quarterbacks will play. Taylor will come in after, uh, after Carson, and then uh, Sam will, will finish up. Um, you know, with Taylor, we'll probably get him into the third quarter a little bit, and then we'll let Sam finish up. Um, and, and what we, would be really good, and we worked on it, was the last thing we worked on today, is I'd love to see Sam get a two-minute um, you know, at the end of the game. That would be really cool. Uh, it'd be a real good experience for him as well. Um, you know, and and he's, you know, he's still got a lot to learn, but just consistency is what, what you're hoping. You know, hoping he has some success, hoping he controls things and, and is consistent with, uh, you know, with, with his ball placement when he throws it. Last year, I felt like 2019, obviously, had a special year with the punt team and going to the Pro Bowl. 2020, numbers-wise, we even had a better year as a punt team. I think I I think I was kind of outsmarting myself last year. I was pressing a little bit hard, trying to do a little bit too much at times when, at the end of the day, I think Coach does such an awesome job every single day of, of teaching us to build trust with one another. And it just frees you up so much more when you trust your other guys that they're going to do what they're going to do, starting with cheese with the snap, the protection, the coverage. I just got to give them some good direction of balls and hopefully we flip the field. And so this training camp, I have been working a little bit more on like the basics and contentment of what is a winning punt. That's such a thing, a winning punt. And so that's just kind of what I hammered on this year. It's been a fun camp and a good camp and really excited for the preseason. And what's, uh, what's in the cooler, man? Anything fun? Uh, no, anything like, like post game fun? Pasta salad and a cookie. That's all right. Yeah, there's no alcohol or anything. You lost me at pasta salad. Yeah, I'm sorry. Yeah. What do you try to get out of camp? Yeah, so last year, last year I felt like 2019 obviously had a special year with the punt team and going to the Pro Bowl. 2020, numbers wise, we even had a better year as a punt team. I think I, I think I was kind of outsmarting myself last year. I was pressing a little bit hard, trying to do a little bit too much at times when at the end of the day, I think coach does such an awesome job every single day of, of teaching us to build trust with one another. And it just frees you up so much more when you trust your other guys that they're going to do what they're going to do, starting with cheese with the snap, the protection, the coverage. I just got to give them some good directional balls and hopefully we flip the field. And so this training camp, I had been working a little bit more on like the basics and contentment of what is a winning punt. That's such a thing, a winning punt. And so that's just kind of what I hammered on this year. And it's been a fun camp, been a good camp, and really excited for the preseason now. So that one, I, I, I must say, I actually stole from a, a couple of punters across the league. So uh, Johnny Hecker, who we played this weekend for the Carolina Panthers, um, he had this ability um, a few years back that nobody had really ever seen where he would stand in this one spot and he would punt it all over the field from there. And then you had Brett Kern and Sam Cook and Thomas Morstead, who I thought were some of the best directional punters maybe in the history of the game. So I just kind of I kind of took little pieces from all those dudes. Brett Kern was the punter for the AFC in the Pro Bowl the year I went, and I stole the way he drops the ball to, like, I'm a golfer, so you play like a cut shot, like inside out. 
And uh, and I literally on his jersey, he asked me to sign. I said, hey, Brett, thanks thanks for your drop. I stole it and made the Pro Bowl, Trust Way 5. So it's just, I just, Nate, Nate, Coach Nate really encouraged me a lot with just seeing what guys do really well and trying to blend it with what you do well. And I, I, I bring something a little bit different and shame on me if I don't use that to try and help us win some games. So, yeah. <laughs> so I think the coolest thing now is now that I'm one of the older dudes, all the, all the young punters coming in that just have freaking cannons for legs. It just seems like they're getting even stronger. It just really, really ticks you off. They'll come in. They're like, man, Tress, I just don't know. Don't know how you do it. Like what, what is, what is it that you do? And I lie every time I go, man, just talk to it. You know, you come, off the foot and just talk to the ball and sometimes it listens sometimes it doesn't some of them believe me so I don't know if they're out there like oh I don't know it's just not listening today so but uh, yeah I'm not giving any of my secrets away if they want to figure it out they can watch some film just like I did and try and steal some stuff so yeah so the the biggest thing is I know I know and you could take a poll and see what everybody thinks I know how everybody feels about preseason games I freaking love them I don't think it's any coincidence that the preseason games and the FedEx Cup playoffs for golf match up perfectly because preseason games for a specialist you you can be out there and practice have all of the energy everything like that but when I go out to punt in a pump period we punt 10 or 12 times sometimes cheese gets a little winded but like we go a full period and you can get into a groove when you go into the game you have one shot. Like, you don't know when you're going to punt again. You don't know when you're going to kick again, things like that. So it's a very fun, like, practice round of, like, getting the jitters, getting the, the, the adrenaline going so that you can hopefully catch a stride going into week one whenever it's really freaking on. So it's uh, – it, I, I look forward to this time. You always – Coach just said it yesterday. You always see dudes pop up on film that you didn't know they could go because you're just doing practice. And you go to preseason, it's like, oh, my gosh, that dude – ball so it's just that is always a fun surprise too so oh yeah. uh, good I mean this has been a you know relatively comfortable camp uh, we're back at the house and stuff like that I'm, I'm relatively close to my family like it's been talked about from being from Stafford so uh, being able to go home and sleep with you know at my own house and stuff like that's been pretty comfortable not being at like a camp and stuff like that but um, you know getting comfortable with cheese and trash has been really important for me just making sure we're continually building our chemistry both on and off the field so um, no, I mean, it's been, a, I would say, a comfortable camp, but obviously I know, like, my implications, I know what I have to get done, but um, I just feel, like I said, I feel, I feel pretty confident going in. Uh, so my junior year, I started kind of getting into kicking a little bit more. Uh, my, the senior that was there when I was a sophomore, Austin Greeby, kicked at the Naval Academy. He was, one, he was really, really close with my brother. Uh, kind of just was like, hey, I think you should really look into kicking. It's a good opportunity. Go see this coach from the local area, who Paul Woodside. Um, has been working with kickers for years and I went up and started working with him and I still was pretty hesitant my junior year. Uh, my senior year when I started getting a little bit more, you know, not noticed by some colleges and, st colleges and stuff like that, I kind of took it a little bit more seriously. But even I was actually just talking about today when I when I was getting recruited at Virginia Tech, Foster and me had talked and it was kind of a thing where if you kick, you kick. If you don't, come over and, you know, play linebacker. And I had more of an idea of when to go there learned under one of the best defensive coordinators in all of football and you know if if my career gets cut short doing something maybe I can GA with him and you know be a defensive coordinator you know defensive analyst something like that so um kicking really didn't even in college kicking really didn't hit me like I'm gonna want to do this in the in the NFL till probably end of my sophomore year and uh once that kind of came in um there was just a lot of I, I realized how raw I was and how much work I had to really put into it so um, that kind of led me into my junior and senior year struggles here and there and coming out, not being drafted, not being picked up as an undrafted free agent, all those things um, kind of molded me where I'm at now. But, yeah, I mean, if if they told me tomorrow that I could suit up and play linebacker on Saturday, I would I would do it in a heartbeat. But uh, for, the, for the sake of my body, I probably will never do that. So Kai Forbath, who used to kick here, said that FedEx is one of, if not the hardest venues to kick in. Is that a reputation that uh, the stadium has amongst kickers? And I know you had great success last year, but do you maybe agree with that? Yeah, uh, the wind in there is pretty crazy. Um, I don't know what it is. That, I mean, I've kicked in like Heinz, the Heinz Field, or was it now? It's a, a, it's Heinz, yeah, Pittsburgh. Yeah, Heinz Field uh, is uh, is pretty much you know known as a, a pretty hard place to kick. And I kicked there when I was in college and. You can figure out where the, like the wind's coming off the river. So it's like, obviously, this is what's happening. But I don't know what it is at FedEx, but it, it gets a pretty crazy crosswind. Um, 
you know, the field's got a dome on it. And, you know, the grass is a little different in certain places. So I think there's some things that can make it really challenging. But uh, to be honest with you, for me, it it kind of feeds into a lot of my strengths. I, I'm not someone that is too worried about wind all the time. You know, I'm not looking to play the wind crazy. I'm not, you know, I can play a piercing ball through it most of the time. So, um, I, I mean, I kind of like the reputation of having to be a hard stadium. Tress loves it. I talk to him all the time about it. And, you know, he, he, he enjoys the respect that a lot of guys come in and be like, dude, how do you, how do you punt here? You know, how do you kick here? Um, obviously, it's nice for it to be our home stadium. So we play there more often. We can get used to it. But, uh, yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm kind of in that boat of wanting to take it as a challenge and just say, like, you know, this is how good I can be. This is where I have to kick all the time. And, you know, I'm going to be the most consistent in my own stadium. So. Tress has, like, one of the coolest personalities to be around. Yeah, I mean, uh, people talk about it all the time. He's he's going to probably have a career outside of football just being, like, a – I think he should be a great game show host. Like, if uh, Steve Harvey wants to give up Family Feud and Tress wants to go on, I think that would be awesome. I think Tress would have to grow a pretty nice mustache to compete with him. But, um, no, I mean, he's just got such a good personality to be around. He, you know – makes everything light makes it you know not seem as serious like he can lock in when he needs to and he obviously does he has and and does continually on a daily basis but um i mean he's just he, he makes everything just lighter you know he just takes a lot of the stress off things um and it's i mean it's important for me and cheese to kind of have that because uh, obviously our positions have a lot of stress put on them and you know we're we're you know, told to perform at the top level all the time and there's 32 positions you know if you don't do well you're going to get cut and to have a guy like Tress come in and just be like, dude, like, let's just have fun. Let's just go out there and enjoy what we do and, and, and do 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 well at it. You know, he's he's been one of the top three punters in the league for, what, four or five years now at least. So um, you can kind of take some of his energy and, and realize, like, I can have fun doing this job all the time. So.